All right, everyone, welcome back. Before we get into this video series, I just need to let you know, June 7th, 8th, and 9th, we're going to be at Rod Royal Blue in Pioneer, Tennessee for an event that we're hosting with the UTV Legends Facebook group. It's going to be called Rally on the Creek. It is going to be an absolute awesome time. So if you could, go to our Facebook page of the Can-Am Crew, and we have uh, an event on there pinned at the top. Click on that, read down through the description. Um, there's going to be racing, raffles, there's going to be riding. It's going to be an absolute awesome time. We hope to see you there. While you're checking out our Facebook event, if you could, click whether you can go, whether you're interested, uh, whether you can't go. That way we kind of have an idea of how many people to expect there. Um, we hope to get you know a lot of people. It's going to be an awesome time. And not to mention that Rod Royal Blue is given a discount code if you book with them. It's 20% off. So go to that Facebook page, scroll down through, read the description of the event. The discount code is listed in there. Hit that follow button for us and um, check out the Facebook page. Um, let us know if you can make that event. It's going to be an absolute awesome time. And also you guys already know about the 4th of July event at Ben Franklin Range we'll be at. We have both of those events pinned on our Facebook page. So, um, And I'll have them on our website, thecanamcrew.com. Um, we have an events page on there too. So uh, if you have any questions, let us know. And uh, we're going to get into this video series. This one's going to be a good one. I made it over that spot. I'm counting that as a win. You did that. You did the same. Flop thing. or not, I count that as a win, John. There you go. That Dad, was a win, buddy. You did the same thing at the last place. I did. You flopped yeah. at the top. I did. I did. <laughs> it is the start to a beautiful morning. We're going riding. It's currently like 5:30 in the morning. We got loaded up last night in the dark. I was hoping to catch it on camera, but I didn't. Um, it was late, it was rainy, it was windy, it was miserable. But uh, this is what we have going on. It's hard to see, I know. I want to start off by saying that uh, this is a heck of a haul. We got the Razor on the truck, the new 3500 Dually, hoping it does great. And then we got Aftermath, Zip Tie, and Trust Fund. Ready to rock and roll here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a few hours until it gets late. We're getting ready to get on the road now. And uh, once it gets late, I'll get the camera back out. We're gonna show you how this baby tows, what kind of fuel mileage we're getting, etc. So we'll see you back here in the next clip when it's light out.
finally made it to the Welcome Center. Just up from Julian, West Virginia. Let's see here. This is doing amazing. It is, you can hardly even tell the razors up there. If you can tell, we kind of squished the suspension a little bit just so it wasn't so suspension happy and, and a little tall. Um, we have Scott back there. We have us, we have Will, and we have Tim here. We're getting our permits and um, telling this. Uh, I think the the trip on the dash is telling us we're, we're like 9.8 miles per gallon, so not bad with that either. Squatting a little bit, but um, really not that bad. A few inches. Looks pretty good. It's handling good. It's braking good. I'm extremely happy with the way it's towing. It's been doing great. Really happy with the truck. It rides awesome. It's got enough power. It's stable. It looks crazy going down the road too. It's pretty wild with that four seater up on there. You can see back here, we have some straps pulling the back end down right here just to get it so it's not so floppy. Right? <laughs> What's going on? All the straps nice and tight. Machines are all filled up with gas. We're ready to rock and roll. Just pushing it, yeah. It fits. If it fits, it ships. It's hanging off more now than it did last time. Probably. I could back up a little bit more. I could probably back up a few more inches. We're on there though. We're able to get the ramps out underneath the tires. I don't think we have three inches to spare on the trailer though. We're loaded to the max. So, um, I know the Razor weighs 22,066 pounds dry. 35's cage. Uh, we're probably, at, you know, 22,200. Um, the wheels I know added a good bit, or the wheels and tires added a good bit. So let's just say 2300. And I know Aftermath weighs 1940 pounds. And I know the trailer weighs just under 3000. It's like 28. So round numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'll say 11, 5. The rack is 500. So that's 12. So around 12,000 pounds. Not too bad. I think the you know the truck weighs more than the the 250 did. So let's just say the truck weighs 8,000 pounds. That's 13 or uh, yeah, 30, uh, 20 thousand. So it's actually a little bit under that because I know these two don't weigh as much as aftermath. So total weight is probably just under 12,000. Not too bad. I think our white trailer with two can ams in it weighs like what 10.4. So when we tow two Can-Ams in our enclosed with the Razor up there, we'll, we'll be a little bit heavier. Not too bad. I like it. It's actually, it seems like it's towing really nice. Okay, we're going to go in here. We're going to grab some permits. And then uh, we're going to go to uh, Hannah's with Bear Girls Campground. Um, if you're coming to Ride Ivy and you're camping or getting a cabin, that's the place to be. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> AC. <laughs> he stole the front seat. Yeah. Okay, permit time. I got the drone. We'll, we'll fly some. We'll get some drone footage here, and uh, we'll be back here with us um, going to uh, Big Earl's, and then we'll get set up, and we'll see if we can ride because I think tonight it's supposed to snow like three inches. Unfortunately, hopefully the weather changes. Uh, if not, we'll be riding in the snow tomorrow. So, we'll see you back here in uh, a minute.
Okay, while well, Sherry is unpacking some clothes, um, we got everything down, ready to rock and roll. And uh, gonna take you down here, show you everybody else's spot here. Uh, Will over there putting gas in. John repping the TCAC hoodie. You can check those out on the website. Get yourself a uh, role model. Got John over here. Hannah calls these the uh, the Amish cabins. Nice cozy little cabins. They have a bathhouse right here, and uh, the efficiency cabin. They have some full hookups. They have water and electric only. And she's uh, she's adding on. She's making upgrades, which is awesome. Um, getting some more shell, adding some more hookups. So these are the Amish cabins here. Pretty nice. Got Tim, got Scott's ride here, rocking the uh, brand new 32 Sticky Zillas. So everybody here is on 32 Zillas, except for the Razors on 35. Um, got the smart spool in all of them. John has a smart spool, it's just not installed yet. Um, the razor is still on the stock diff. No sway bar in the back. He's gonna try it again, see how he likes it. Just rocking the limit straps for now. He said the uh, sway bar broke one too many times and he's done fooling with it. This thing's looking, looking a little uh, rough around the edges, but still runs, still does what he asks it to. No rear bumper. I think he said he put a, uh, a race plate on the back, didn't have time to put the rear bumper on. <laughs> the zip tie supply. You're gonna need that. Where is Scott? Back here somewhere. And uh, there's also primitive tent camping, picnic tables, and all that back here. Ready to rock and roll, Scott? Almost. <laughs> Sherry's still unloading uh, clothes and stuff, so take your time. Take you down here and show you the river nice fire pit nice picnic tables full hook up got a river back here nice spot for sure guessing this is a little rope swing don't know that I would trust it so if you haven't ever stayed at Big Earl's campground definitely check it out it's a great place to be to ride Ivy and uh, so Ivy is behind me back here across these railroad tracks. That's all Ivy Ranch. And over here used to be the old Little Cool uh, trail system years ago. They closed it down and um, pretty much outlawed trails now. We still ride it. Lots of really good riding. And then uh, that way you have the Hobat Mine area, which there's some cool trails down that way. And um, they announced that they're opening another Hatfield McCoy system. I think it's called Paytonia, and it's uh, I think it's that way. So we're gonna let everybody get settled in here. I think I'm gonna go make sure we're all gassed up, and then we're gonna get out of here for a ride. Almost forgot to tell you guys too. Scott got the uh, CT lower A arms. That's why he was down and out for a little bit, waiting on those babies to come in. But it probably took about six, seven weeks for them to come in, huh? Six. It was at least, yeah. I think it was at least six. I mean, yeah. it, they're worth the wait. Yeah, they are. 100% worth the wait. That's what everyone everyone here has. Will has CT uppers and lowers. I don't think they're on yet, but he has them. And then me, Sherry, and um, the kids all have CTs. They, they went in like they were factory. Yeah. The ball they're, joints, they went in like it was factory. They're great. Absolutely zero complaints. Great, great product for sure. If you're looking for the strongest possible A-arms, CT is, CT is top notch. Uh, in my book, I, I like the CTs. Yeah. There's other companies yeah. out there that make some good ones. But. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. That's what I said too. I said everybody here is now on 32s except for the Razors on 35s. So. Well, and these are definitely stickies too. <laughs> yeah. There's red labels on them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say some some are on the inside, some are on the outside, right there. Yeah. There's 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 no miles on the tire, so that that's still on there. So I know they're stickies, so yeah. we're good there. I don't even think they should make a standard compound. Did you show them I have limit straps in yep. the back, so yep. the 
Yep, I the did. The sway bar can't break on me no more. Yep, that's what I said. I said you got tired of breaking the sway bar. Okay. Yep. And I put the, the race, race plate. The race plate, yep. It is a pain in the butt, <laughs> but I like it once it's on there. Yeah, because now you can just take a bolt out, right? You I, can just unthread the bolt and then pull the radius rod out. You don't have to pull the whole pull plate. Yeah, I mean, you, you probably would have to loosen them all up. But yeah, you could probably, if you loosen them all up and say you wanted to take the top one off, yeah, you probably could. Okay. Um, oh yeah. Oh, and the, I forgot. Yep, we got the double shear knuckles on there now too. Yep. That's been. I've had them for a while. Five months. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> they're on there you got them for me for a while ago <laughs> it's been a while yeah it's been a while so yeah this thing it, it's beefed up now it should be okay for a little bit at least hopefully. the ride hopefully <laughs> you know with my luck who knows <laughs> let's just so all right i'm gonna get back down there we're gonna give sherry a hand getting all of our stuff unloaded as always we have the uh the awesome navigation setups in here that you can get from the canamcrew.com over 75 trail systems all with the satellite background downloaded Awesome navigation. Wouldn't leave home without it. Coming over here, we have Mr. Cooper himself in zip tie 2.0. You best take care of this boy. Don't break my ride. And, of course, Cooper's going to be wheeling the rear steer. This is our first ride out on it. I don't know that Cooper will use it. I'll probably jump in and maybe do a um, a few uh test runs on the rear steer if we don't catch it in this video we're definitely going to get it and um in upcoming videos i'm going to jump back and forth between the can-am and the razor this weekend just so we can test out this rear steer i'm really excited to give that a try and then we have sherry as you all know in her ride uh, trust fund and we got emma over here in aftermath you break it you buy it <laughs> and the rest of the lineup Scott, Tim, Will, and John back here. We're gonna head out. We're gonna hit some double blacks this weekend. Um, I'm sure it's gonna get harder. The trails are gonna get harder as we go. So um, hopefully, we can all withstand. The beating or the machines can withstand the beating i should say until towards the end of the videos so this is going to be a serious couple videos long i'm sure so definitely tune in um, a little bit later i think for now we're just going to go out and do a warm-up lap it'll be the first ride on this since all of the uh, upgrades were done uh, it has never seen the trail yet since we did all that stuff so it'll be interesting to see how it holds up but I know I said it before, we're actually riding this time. Next time you see us on camera, we'll be on Ivy, hitting some double black trails. Uh, if you guys are thinking about a gear reduction, do it. I've been, uh, I've been cruising in high, 15, 10, 15 mile an hour, doesn't lug. Oh, it's awesome, definitely, and a clutch kit, both. So we've all made it, and we have a thing here where the first trail we always hit is 87 and uh, it's a double black trail 87 and it always kind of sets the standard for how the rest of the trip is going to go so I think that's what we're going to gear up here we're going to get a couple cameras in place we're going to come up this and we're going to take let's see how many machines we actually have here we have one two three four five six seven eight we got eight machines I'm outnumbered All 32 Zillas, I think I mentioned earlier, this one's on 35s, so it'll be interesting to see how this trail goes. It's a fun trail. Oh, I only have 11% battery. Well, at least catch me going this. All right, okay. trail 87. Jesse's up with the new gear reduction in 35s. Let's see what happens.
mighty Emma's in Aftermath. She's going to make her way up to here. Cooper's up. Cherry's up. Let's see what happens.
coop just came up. Sherry's coming up. up next I think Scott might be up next Keep coming. Okay. Now you can go hard passenger from there. <laughs> On back. I think you want to be driver a little bit more. I would I would bring it all the way back. Yeah, right there. Now just go driver and then back passenger. This spot's pretty tricky. If you get too far left, you'll tip. If you get too far right, you'll you'll trip or <laughs> tip. So you can see kind of where the tire marks are right there. That's kind of where you want to take that rock on to keep yourself level. I think Will's up next. We'll be back with him hitting this. Mm -hmm. Got that J Star exhaust on there, sounding good. one up is John. Come out around it.
first hard section on 92. Everyone's gonna come up, pick a line. Cherry will film me going up. And um, hopefully I can make it. We'll see in the next clip. Guess who's that? First time bringing the four shooter through here. Jesse was just explaining to the group that uh, this beginning section you're gonna see here in a second is basically the gatekeeper to Trail 92. It's right at the beginning, so apparently if we make it up over this, we're all right. Good job, buddy. Nice job. Sidewall power. All right, of course, here come up through there pretty easy. Had to learn where the back end is. Again, I'm so used to my two seater being already up here planted. Um, this is like a huge, very deep hole that if you get in there, you just slide over. So. Jerry's gonna guide Emma down there and I'm I'm probably gonna catch her up here so you might hear me talking to myself.
tell him what to do. There's a tough little spot you don't want to just, your, your tires will get stuck in there if you don't come over just right. Cooper. You're good, keep coming. Nice job, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. picking the right line you don't you don't get on the exact right line it's going to end badly I've, we've all broken axles here i think me and sherry I, I know for sure nice job all right sherry's up hopefully the kids don't make her look bad <laughs> it, it's hard it's hard to follow when uh, two kids come up through there either i had it back up but they didn't made me look bad they're doing awesome they're doing awesome <laughs> Scott's up. All right, Scott's up. First 72 inch machine. We've got two of them with us. Uh, our buddy John, 72 inch as well. so far all right all right Tim don't mess it up <laughs> no pressure Some snack time Tim's coming up roll king beef jerky it's really good oh Sherry ripped her butt <laughs> oh.
job. Hey, this trip might go okay. <laughs> so far, so good. I don't know, lately it seems like first show we hit where some, something's broke. Well, I tell you what, it would really be nice for me not to break. <laughs> I'm hey, sneak we're on our way. <laughs> we got two trails down so far, didn't break yet. I told G, we got to the trailhead when we started up the trail. I said, it's a win already. The, <laughs> the rear sway bar didn't break. <laughs> <laughs> Trade you. Thanks. Hey Scott, is the corner of your box always popped up that much? Or your strap move? What's that? Hey. The corner of your box always popped up that What do you want? Like you saw the food. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. I don't know if I need to get out of the track. Look at all the paint came up in the <laughs> <laughs> Better than leaving an actual park. <laughs> Alright, what was that? Everybody's up, up there eating snacks. Tins of Twizzler haters. Oh, you got jerky, Twizzlers. What you got there, Scott? What is that? Funyuns. <laughs> of course, the Funyuns. <laughs> <laughs> it never fell. <felt. laughs> All right, we got Will. back up turn this way can he come back a little bit go back oh hard passenger from there I think you might get it keep going okay. Alright, we 
just fit. Perfect. Nice job, John. Thank you. Good job, buddy. All right, we all made it. All right, let's go finish off this trail. It's a pretty cool trail. Hate 